Hey YouTube, look who just drove in and parked in my driveway. Hi everybody. It's Lois. And Kyle's going to the party. Oh Kyle, <laughs> Kyle's disappearing. Look who just showed up at the farm. And look who I have down here. He's George. So, George is so cute. Hi buddy. You are so sweet. Oh, you just give me mommy. There's my mom. Yeah, you guys, look who showed up. Just to show y'all. Recognize the place? I'm not lying. Look who, look who's here. Look who came to visit me. Yay, we're gonna do a little farm tour, you guys. Yesterday it was almost 80. We had a heat index was over 80. It's what, 40 degrees right now, kind of raining, and we are expecting three to six inches of snow tonight. Are we excited? Excited, yeah. But hey, us Midwest girls, yeah. we can handle it. We can do it. We can do it. And little puppy. So y'all, I thought we'd go for a walk and show Lois the farm and the horses and the puppy, the horses, which will probably be a little scary. How much of a trek are you willing to go on? Who? You. How far can you walk? I can walk. Okay, let's go this way because we don't want to get tangled. Okay. We don't want to get tangled in the water oh. and... Uh, so you're going all the way on by, I just got to talk on one way. Oh, this way? Okay. Yeah. Is he going to visit us? Is he coming? Yeah. He told me I was, he wants to use the blue. The loo. the loo. So look guys, green grass. So Friday it was 85, almost 90 degrees here. Yeah. Saturday was 80 and humid. Today's Sunday. It's cold, it's raining, and we're gonna get snow tonight. Fun! <laughs> hey, Fun. it wouldn't be the Midwest if it wasn't like this. Oh, right. you are so cute. Let's show everybody how cute you are. Super cute. There we go. So we're both gonna make videos. Yeah, we're at Stephanie's. Look at it. Yay. She's filming and I'm filming. Yeah. So if you see my video first, you got to go watch Lois's. And if you see Lois's video first, you got to come see mine. Right. Sure and it's going to be the same, <laughs> same video, different perspectives, right? Right. right. Exactly. <laughs> and her wild little puppy. <laughs> We're over here. We're getting rained on. Of course, I'm under a tree. That doesn't help. We're going to go see the ponies. So this is a bur oak. It's a white oak in the white oak family. When we got here, they said it was at least 300 years old. I, I don't think there's any way to know until it, you know, it comes down. And the thing is with the white oak bur oaks, they hollow. So I don't, you know, you got to get them way down to be able to count the rings. But yeah, yep. Which is great because they tell me when things are going on because they can't see it from the house. We're going to see the ponies. Now, some of these are not dog friendly, so we'll keep him out of the horses. Yeah, we'll keep him back here. Hi, girls. This was all dry yesterday, and now it's just mud. I emptied out our. Um... Honey, your boots are getting off. That's okay. I can't do anything. I bought hip waders. Want to put them on? No, I'm good. Hip waders. We're not quite that bad. I emptied out a rain gauge. We had uh, six tenths of an inch last night. Oh yeah. Hi, Soph. Here's the horses. This was all dry. 24 hours ago, this was all really, really dry. Now it's just mud. Do those white tanks have electricity in them? Yes, ma'am. So don't touch them, Kyle. Go up and grab one, Kyle. Oh, the white tape? Yeah. yeah. Don't touch it. How long have you had that stuff out? What? 20 years, that white tape? Yeah. I replace it as it needs to be. You can see it's getting some so greenies on it. Well, I know that. I've just never seen the tape before. Not like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Horses respect the, uh, the Grand Shock. Which one's, the young, which one's the young guy? Well, these guys are all middle-aged. <laughs> the oldest is in the middle. That's Lyrical. Miss Princess. And we've got Sof Sof on the left and Nana Boo on the right. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're muddy and dirty. And then I put the cool curtains up in the shed over the weekend to keep the bugs out. And now it's going to keep the snow out. There you go. It works well. Because, you know, spring. Oh, they're really muscular. They're super healthy. Yeah, they're doing good. And I had been, I'd cleaned all the poo and piled it all up to make, uh, we make, oh, com I compost cool. everything. Some of that poo for my raised bed, so. Oh, I get people all the time asking me for it. <laughs> all the time. I never have a problem getting rid of it. Right. So, because I, I make sure it's very thoroughly composted and cooked down. These are the boys. Artie and Moose. Artie is more white on his face. And Artie's like, there's humans. And there's so Moose is on the left, right there. And this is Artie over here. So you got girls there and boys here. Yes, we separate. 
boys are naughty. Girls, yeah, they look like uh, girls what are you guys don't like doing boys. On my property. Yeah. So how far a walk you want to go? What's down there? The whole property to walk around yet. I don't think I can walk this way. Okay, we'll go this way. <laughs> they're looking at your dog, and they're like, "What?" The boys, they noticed you got the little one. But my neighbor who lives right there has a little dog, so and she's just white, different right. color, pretty much the same size though. Look at him. He don't know what to think. He's never seen horses before. Moosey! Arthur! They're so goofy. I can't believe we're going to get snow. Oh, no. let's hope not. Yucky. I mean, hopefully they'll be wrong and it'll be beautiful. I know. But look, we got green grass and then we're going to get snow. Beautiful. So this is the arena. Okay. When I was riding more, I'd be riding in that. Hosted a few little events and things in there, but are you coming, puppy dog? Now, do they play with that ball or something? Do yeah, you, you know who dragged that over there, don't you? Uh, your dog. Coyotes. Oh, coyotes, really? They drag it all over the farm. We always have to go looking for it. Wow. They're so naughty. Yeah, we ain't going outside at night, Tim. Oh, you'll be fine. It's it's not the coyotes. It's the wolves. Oh yeah, we don't want those either. Where's the <laughs> Yeah. Where's the bear? Oh, we don't get them too much down here. Okay. A little I, farther north. People see them by our town, but I've never seen them. We get mountain lions through here. Oh, great. Yeah. My uh, co-worker... Uh, nugget for them. <laughs> my co-worker who lives a little farther south from here, her neighbor's got like a game camera. Uh -huh. They just got a bobcat on, on wow. camera. And, you know, missing the tail, so you know it's a bobcat versus a cougar. Yeah. Them are nice kids. Them are the nice kids to have here. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Hey, you know it's it's part of living in the Midwest. Exactly. You go north, you're definitely gonna get bear. You don't have to worry about anybody wanting to mm -hmm. rob you or not, because all the animals outside will get them. They're not in yours. They'll yeah. Your Say hi. Say hi, Kyle. Hello. How are we doing? <laughs> I'm the one. I don't like to do that. We're gonna go through the barn. Okay. Cause it's dry. <laughs> Not that it's bad. My boots are wet. Yeah. It's okay. That barn don't look like it's more than 20 years, 15 years old. Eh, it's about 20, yeah. 15, 20, yeah. Somewhere in there. 30, 40, 50 years old. Well, it's yeah. already been through a tornado. We got a direct hit from a tornado about nine years ago. Wow. Yeah. Wick, yeah, I ain't seen a wick home now. They're, they're out of Wisconsin. Yeah, I think we got them at our place. I heard a wick. We'll see how many bugs are on the door. We had so many like box elder bugs because of the heat yesterday. Oh. They're probably all freaking out right now because how oh. cold it is. So Lois, yeah. I'm about ready to give up on this this bed. Oh. It's like 20 years old and I'm so sick of pulling all the grass out of it every year. Right. It's just frustrating. But all your flowers are blooming so pretty. They're gonna try. <laughs> they got an advertising to town. I'm about kids that want to work. I know. You can put them to work. That's a flower bed. Business, we can't so. even get people to work at the Dollar Tree. Can't get people to work at all. So you can't get people to work at all, unfortunately. But some some of the kids are, but. So I mean, I gotta I gotta go day. through and pull all the grass out again. Yeah, my grandkids are raking mine right now. That's why mine is like um, a cottage garden. So a lot of it I don't worry about. This is old. I mean, everything's rotting out on it because it's so it's you know. It's as soon old. as the barn went up, we I put it in and. Yeah, I I've been slowly dividing and stuff in the woods and I might just dig everything out right transplant it all along the woods where it's gonna get Sun and everything and just be like there you go it'll be pretty and let the grass come okay we're gonna go in which way is north that way that way oh, that way's north. Okay. this way is north which, way is town? That way? which that's Madison that's that way, way. Okay. Um, and then Illinois is that way fine Illinoising <laughs> We call them annoying, Illinois. Well, that's north. Right, I don't like Chicago. Yep, that's north. Like so Illinois is that to the Illinois is to the east of you. No, it's south. Do south. Or south. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then y'all are that way. Yep. Straight across the lake. You guys are are just over the hill there. <laughs> we're like straight across from Milwaukee. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we're gonna go over to Ironwood, Michigan, when we leave here. I know, but I'm just saying, if we got on the ferry, we're straight across. I think yeah. we're about even with them, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. I'm not sure if they're higher. We are. I just looked on the map. I think I did. And okay. Oh, no bugs. Nice. Okay, I'm turning the lights on too so you can actually see. Oh, there we go. Yep. 
I got the four wheeler out, here's my horse trailer, four wheeler out of the way because uh, I figure I might have to pull, <laughs> mix the skid loader out. Well, you, got, you put your horse here in the winter? Yeah. In fact, I got a couple stalls I need to clean yet, but so there's nine stalls in here, and then this is usually full of hay, but I, I got a lot of hay out here. We're not full up on hay right now because we're coming out of winter, but this is a, my, I love looking at the storms come in in the summer out the south door. So where do you guys in the summer get your storms out of? Do they come across the lake? Yeah, we come right here usually. Yeah, so ours, ours come anywhere from the southwest west to northwest usually our winter storms come out of you know like minnesota so it's northwest but we can watch the storms usually come in this way if you get a nor'easter it's going to be a bear but, uh, a <coughs> yeah so this is where i like this was all full of hay in this direction this winter but we fed it all out now i'm <laughs> working into this oh, okay like wow that's a lot now. i got you do you grow your own a lot yeah all this is hay and hay out here so did you see my short I did when we got the, the foot of snow? This is where I was filming it because it was just a full on whiteout. And I was trying to film that road. You could just barely see the trucks going by and you could just barely see our road here. Um, the, the plow had gone by. It was, it was such a full on whiteout. It was kind of crazy. It was beautiful. But... Yeah, you just don't want to drive in it. Yeah. No. That's an old farm over there too. Beautiful and dangerous. Yep, that's the neighbor's old farm. Lots of old farms around. But oh, so uh, southern Wisconsin um, known for its tornadoes and stuff. And the tornado we got hit by nine years ago came came right across from those trees, far trees, came through this field and came right up over our farm. We took a direct. It was just an EF one, thankfully. Right. Did it so did it take some shingles off? It yeah. That's why there's a steel roof on the yeah, on the big now. barn. On, well, on the big barn, the um, the hundred year old barn. And then it took out a couple of big oaks oh, okay. and stuff like that. But yeah, it's cold out. This could be a winter wonderland in a little bit. Yeah, it won't last long. Two, two days. Hopefully, it stays north. It'd be nice if it stayed north and we only got an inch or something. Oh, mine's, mine's still going. Still going. Oh well. So the tornado came from the far tree line that you see in the far there, like right across those fields. It actually came across and took out some trees by that white house on that farm there. Yep. And then kind of curved this way and came right over, hit us direct, us and the neighbors directly, and then started climbing, it, you know, was dissipating as it came over us. So National Weather Service said it was an EF1. So we got really lucky. Right. Not a lot of damage to the buildings. It, it did rip the electricity off our house. But they, they got out right away and got us fixed up. You got so. Farm Bureau or State Farm Insurance? Um, I don't remember who we just met with them too. Um, luckily, it was just mostly trees, and uh, I can't remember who. It's been a while because we might have changed insurance. Right. It's been almost ten years ago. So you got your own tractor and the hay baler too? Yeah. So well, so no, my I co I share crop with our neighbors. The tractor is actually in the garage next door here, okay. yeah, and it's just a little tractor because the barn next door was built when the house was built, right? That that one yeah. that that barn dates back to like 1910 or something like that. Wow. A little over 100 years old. So the guy I know up in Michigan has got horses. He's got a truck just about yeah, like that. I must be full. He just got. He got a truck about like yours. Oh, your batteries in. Oh, really? That's yeah, that's, that's the that. that's the hay hauler. She's the beast. And then she hauls a, your your trailer too, your horse trailer. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I thought you'd pull up in a big truck. <laughs> Try to avoid driving that as much as I can. All right, we're going to sign off for now, guys. Thank you, everybody.